it's not just a single or two parents that raise a child, but it's a whole community. And I think there's a great responsibility for those people, um, even if they don't really know that young person or not related in any way, that regardless of that type of encounter, uh, it does have an influence and later impact on a child or young person's development in later life. And I think giving young people the resilience against different challenges they may face in life, so that, whether that be around body image or around exam stresses, I think developing that kind of resilience and strength to tackle against some of those issues will help later on confront some of the later problems throughout adulthood. <laughs>I think that society has a lot to gain from promoting happiness in children and young people, especially because as children and young people are growing up, they're observing things that are happening around them and they'll feel a need to be part of society. So if society welcomes them and shows them, it makes them feel wanted. Because if they don't feel a like part of society, they're going to grow up sad, feel rejected, and they'll probably turn to crime, which leads to social behaviour, which is bad for society overall. I think it's really important to kind of nail it when young people are young, especially targeting those ages when they're developing throughout their life at different stages, whether it's starting in primary school at age five. It's all about an early intervention. You know, the earlier you intervene into a child's life or a young person's life, the better that they can grow up and do something positive with their life and giving them the life skills that they actually need so that they can go on to find you know, good education and good employment and then contribute back to the society. I think it's a, it's a cycle that young people or anybody goes through. Um, so I think having that in place would be good.